The rain comes down outside my window. I'm looking to the sky when the wind blows. Whether it's sunshine or pouring rain, seasons change, but it remains the same. I lay awake at night, looking through pictures in the pale moonlight. Since you've been gone, my life ain't felt right. But I know you do it all right. The rain comes down outside my window. I'm looking to the sky when the wind blows. Whether it's sunshine or pouring rain. Jesus changed, but it remains the same. All right, so uh, track 15 on the album, uh, Tailgate Music, dropping October 21st. Uh, song, um, definitely the most challenging song to do on the album. Um, uh, the most realest song on the album. Um, it's dedicated to my brother who uh, passed away about nine years ago. Uh, had a heart condition. Um, so, which uh, is something yeah, y'all y'all pretty much had always known that uh, yeah, he, he kind of had a, had a condition. But you know, was, dude, dude, I mean, he was a very successful um, businessman. He had. Um, you know, his son was extremely young uh, when he passed away, um, you know, just starting the family, and so it was just uh, a bad thing. Um, but but that guy had, you know, he had about as much influence, good or bad, yeah. um, on my, my taste in music, man. I, I'll never forget. I mean, there was a about a 10-year difference in our ages, but I remember being 12, 13 years old, you know, um, you know, rolling around in his in his truck, listening to just hip hop, just hip hop, and you know, BC Boys, and, and and man, it had such an influence on me, and 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 so I couldn't. And, and I've done a song dedicated to him before that most people hadn't heard, but um, this one right here, I was like, we're putting out this album. You know, I can't. As a matter of fact, I think it was 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 Deep Thrash that, that encouraged me to do it. We didn't want to put out an album without me doing that and he sent me a track and it was just kind of the, the perfect vibe and and um recorded it a couple of times man it was kind of kind yeah. of tough to get through and, and well, just to kind of let the people know that they don't know um, you know how, how old was he when he when he passed away uh i mean he was uh it's like like 30 30 yeah 30 31 so i mean you know it's definitely unexpected and uh i remember uh, you know, the day it happened, you know, and, and Dave, you know, was talking about it, and, you know, it's, it's just, uh, it's just, you know, Dave always talked about, about his brother, and anytime we hung out, he always talked about, you know, the, uh, how much he, he, was, he had done for himself, and, like, he basically, you know, um, he, he created a, such a good atmosphere for his family, and he, he worked hard to get where he was, and you know he, he just he, he really uh, was a good you know like role model for Dez to kind of like show him the right way you know to live and like look if you work hard you know and you butt and you bust your butt you know so it was cool man to do this song and we definitely wanted to do that I, I, I felt it was important that we, we put this song on the record um, and it's also important that it can only be done a certain way, yeah. you know, to give it, you know, to 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 really give it, you know, everything that's due. And so it, it's called. Uh, I know you're doing all right. Yeah, I know you're doing and, all right. And and and, and Deep Thrash here did a, a great job on the chorus. Not a not a not a crazy talented singer, by no stretch yeah. of the imagination. <laughs> but you know, when I'm singing about this kind of stuff, yeah. you know, it's hard to do. So I was like, yeah. man. Can you, can you please take the course? And, yeah, yes. and uh, you know, he did a, a good job mixing everything. And it's, uh, you know, everything I say in the song is just straight, yeah. as, as true and real as it gets, man. It's like, it's it's one of the hardest songs I've ever recorded, but one of the easiest songs I've ever, you know, written. Because yeah. it's just so freaking real and just everything, just come out. Um, I mean, I could have made this song 14 verses talking about, you know, the dude's right. life and, and what kind of impact he had on me. Right. But, um, but anyway, you know, the song's real dear to my heart, and, yeah. and, and you know, glad that, that that we got it on my and I, and I think it's important too that that this on there because it lets, once again, it lets it lets our fans know that um, you know it's not it's you know there, there's other parts about us 
that we like to talk about and, and these songs are there you know, they're they're all right. Was on top of the world, rolling around in your Chevy, riding shotgun, brother. Anytime you would let me go in death with the Beastie Boys cranked in the deck. For a 12 year old, that's as good as it gets. Hanging out with his older brothers, feeling like a king. Man, y'all let me tag along, and still, that just means so much to me. And now I sit and think about what our lives would be like if you were here now. Just sad and crazy, like you always did. You worked hard, but you played hard, just like a kid, and we'll meet again.